Hello, I'm 18-year-old Megan Harrison. I used to be an avid rower three seasons a year and planned on rowing in a Division I college. Lyme disease changed all of that for me. In 2003, I had my knees drained and also had several MRIs. In fact, a specialist clinically diagnosed me with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, even though my JRA test was negative. My Lyme test at the time was also negative, but clinically diagnosing that was not considered. In 2005, I had a bullseye rash and was treated for a month. Later, I began having insufferable migraines and eventually saw a pediatric migraine specialist. My doctors at the time didn't connect them with Lyme disease. November 2008 changed my life forever. During swim season, I started having constant nausea and became so fatigued that it was a struggle to pull myself through the water. I decided to quit the team over winter break so my body could recover for crew in the spring. My symptoms evolved and I got to the point that I completely lost my short-term memory. I still have no memories of anything that happened during that time period. I learned later that it is common for Lyme to show up in kids as neurological symptoms without arthritis symptoms. I began seeing different specialists, GI doctors, neurologists, and cardiologists, each with their myriad of tests. They were all knowledgeable in their specialties, but none understood Lyme disease. My mom was doing research, and she realized Lyme disease might explain my symptoms. But the doctors refused to test me for Lyme, noting that I didn't have arthritis. Thanks to my family doctor, I was finally tested and diagnosed with Lyme disease. I started oral antibiotics, but nothing was bringing back my memory. Finally, after less than a month of IV antibiotic treatment, my memory came back. In early September 2009, I experienced encephalopathy of the brain. Blind for two days with a month-long migraine, my sleep medication stopped working. I was averaging a mere 10 to 12 hours of sleep per week. I waited on a long list to see a knowledgeable Lyme specialist, but when I finally saw her, her initial treatment worked quickly and my constant nausea and migraines disappeared. I then went back on IV antibiotics for three months, which improved my sleep, and I started getting four to six hours of sleep a night. My progress was steady but slow, and after two years out of school, I was well enough to start homeschool in September 2011. Right now I'm not yet rowing, but I am able to work out a couple times a week. I plan to attend a college where I can do club rowing and major in chemical, materials, or polymer engineering. I try to stay positive and look for opportunities where my story can make a difference in someone else's life. That's what led to the Limelight Fashion Show, actually. Julia Wagner wanted to raise awareness of how this disease is hitting teens and kids. We were talking about a lime walk, but at that time, I couldn't walk a mile. So I came up with the idea for the Limelight Fashion Show because I modeled before I became ill. I had no idea at that time how much work a fashion show entailed. It has grown since the first year, and I've had the opportunity to work with New York designers Norma Kamali last year, and Alexandria Hilfiger and Nari Mani Vong this year. The most rewarding part of the show for me is seeing these kids, who have missed out on so much in their lives due to Lyme disease, get their moment in the spotlight. If this show can help prevent just one person from going through what I have, then it will all be worth it.